Hi everyone, we are doing a red letter 40 day challenge and each week we are working on a different theme. Before I talk about the theme for this week, let's do a quick review of the five themes of the red letter challenge. Being, forgiving, serving, giving, and going. So that means that this week's theme is giving. I think everybody already knows what that means. I mean, this is too easy. Should we just skip this one? No, no, don't skip this one. I want to teach this one. I'm going to show them all about giving. Well, what do you got there, Red? Um, I'm so excited to show you all that I have. I went through my room because I, I wanted to find things that I could give away for other kids that might not have as much. Okay, show us what you're ready to give away. Let's see. I have my broken Fitbit. I left it out in the rain and it stopped working. So I just thought maybe a kid could use that as a bracelet or something, you know? Okay. Show us what else you have. Um, okay. Well, there was this great book of mine. But the outside cover fell off and we are missing the back four pages because of it. So you can't find out the ending. But the beginning is really good. Hmm. Okay. Well, I also got this really cool speaker. Okay, now that's cool. Someone's really going to enjoy listening to music on that speaker. Oh, um, you're not really going to hear any music. Not hear any music? But isn't that what a speaker does? Normally, yes. But I spilled some water on it, and it got into the battery section, and now it doesn't work. But that's okay. I'm going to have them pretend that it's a little dog. See, I put a piece of string on it, and I drag it around, and it's like a pet. Red, none of these things work. You don't have anything that kids can play with. What about this basketball? It's deflated. Yes, but if you pump it up, it will work great for about 20 minutes until the air comes out again. Red, I know you were trying to give, and you are giving something, but you gave things away that really should just be thrown away. This stuff can't be used by anyone. Oh, well, yeah, I know that. But when I was looking around my room, I couldn't find anything I didn't like. Have you thought about giving away something that you might actually like, but maybe don't use anymore? Like what? Well, like your paintbrushes. For instance, I mean, I know they're really cool, but Red, you don't really like to paint and you don't ever use them. I bet you could find someone who really loved art. Or maybe your puzzles. They're really neat, but you don't use them. And someone else really may enjoy them. Yeah, okay, I guess I could see about giving those away. Brad, I have one more thing. What if you gave away your Viva Pinata game? Are you crazy? I love that game. It's my favorite game. I know. I know it is, Red, but I bet someone would love to have that game. You see, giving isn't just about getting rid of stuff we don't like anymore, or even getting rid of stuff we don't use anymore. Sometimes giving is hard because we should just give something we, we do love, like the money we've been saving for a long time, or a favorite toy. I don't know if I could do that. Well, what did God give us? I know it wasn't his Xbox 360 Viva Pinata game. Oh, Red, no, he gave us something much better than that. What could possibly be better than that? When we look at what God gave to us, it is incredible. He gave us his one and only son, Jesus, and whoever believes in him will have eternal life. God loves a cheerful giver. God loves us so much that he gave himself up for us willingly and cheerfully. And now we trust in Jesus to save us. God gives us generous and cheerful hearts to give out our worship for him. I get it now. That's the most favorite thing to give. Jesus died so we can know him. That's the best gift we can ever have. Thanks for learning with us today.